Hello and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am Pete Orski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And this is going to be uh, my first tutorial, uh, kind of mini tutorial, where we're going to try to speed through things. I'm going to cut things down significantly. I'm going to try to keep it to four to five minutes. Um, and we're going to look at creating a view slideshow. Uh, so essentially what this is, is it's based on uh, drupal.org slash node slash 814132. Um, and that is a brief tutorial that identifies how to create a view slideshow so that you have one image and then the kind of a jQuery thumb down at the bottom that you can scroll through those images. Um, reason why I'm doing the screencast of it is because if you're like me, uh, you learn visually and sometimes you run into errors as you're, you're trying to do things, minor tweaks that you don't realize uh, or pick up on. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's dive right into it. First things first, you have to install View Slideshow and View Slideshow comes with another module. It's called Single Frame. So you want to enable that as well. So you have two modules that are installed. Next, you're going to use using CCK, you're going to create a content type uh, specifically for this. Uh, so I have I've created a, a gallery content type and what this will do is it'll allow me to embed a number of different images on a certain on a given node so for one node I can have 10 different images and that's kind of my gallery uh, of you know a certain uh, images that pertain to a different theme so next we're going to go into views and add a view and we're just going to give it a simple name so it's a gallery of and this has to be alphanumeric so gallery that's a terrible name, don't use that name. Uh, views description, uh, so this is just gonna be gallery of single, gallery of images as a single frame. Again, don't use that, that's terrible. Uh, it's a good thing this isn't a live site. Uh, so we always add tags, so it's gonna be custom and gallery, right? Good to do if you're gonna have lots. Uh, view type is node, hit next. Now what we're going to do is in fields, we're going to add our image. So you see we have, uh, actually I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you another cool thing. We're going to add image and we're going to add uh, this image field data. When I set up my gallery um, for the images uh, on the node, what I did was I allowed for a description for the image. So that's what this data uh, applies to. And we're going to pull that in so that as you slide through your images, you're going to get that data as well. Uh, the tutorial doesn't show you how to do that, but it's kind of cool. You can create your uh, your little captions underneath uh, images and that kind of thing and overlay them with some CSS. So next you're going to ungroup the multiple values for the images. And I'm taking my label off and I'm just going to use uh, an image. You, this is where if you want to use image cache, you could resize your image and you would choose it there. Uh, now this is the, the label for the data. We're going to take that off. Um, don't care about trimming it. And see here, we can use the data key. We can use description, title, or alt. We're gonna use the description. If you want to use all three, you would just add in three fields and then change those up for each one. So now that we have that, we're gonna add our filters. And there's gonna be three filters. First one is going to be content image list. So this is my image field that I have in my, uh, specifically my gallery. So we're gonna add that. Then we're gonna to go to node and we're gonna add Two here it's gonna be published and it's gonna be of a certain type we want it to be published because we only want published uh, images to be seen and uh, we want this specifically to be of my gallery type so what you didn't see there was just list I set that to true then I set to published and then is one of gallery so sorry I'm moving fast but it's because I want to try to keep it to a tight timeline next thing you're gonna do add an argument and you scroll down to arguments. We're gonna add it for the node. We're gonna pull in the node ID. Node ID. And we're gonna say action take if argument isn't present. We're gonna provide a default. And that default is gonna come from the URL. If you watched my previous video tutorials, I think it was in Simple News or my related queue uh, module development, you'll know that every, despite having a uh, path auto enabled, every node on Drupal carries the same system URL, which is node slash some number. So that's what this is doing. It's gonna pull in that some number if uh, the argument isn't provided. You can add a validator. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna hit update. Great. Now, next thing you have to do, style. We're gonna change that. And this is where we get our slideshow, right? That's the module that we installed. We're gonna hit update. And make sure this is single frame. If you don't have single frame here, it's because you didn't install the module or enable the module. Just go back to your modules page and you can get that done. 
Uh, some of the settings here you can change or play with. Uh, they're beyond the scope of this. But the one cool thing that we are going to do is we are going to use pager. Pager is going to be set to bottom. And what we're going to do is use thumbnails. Um, we're not going to enable the slide, pause, or anything like that. Uh, sync, that's all fine. We'll update. <coughs> Excuse me. Great. And we just want to make sure that pager is enabled here. Don't think that matters, but either way, we're going to make sure. Um, great, so that's all good. We're going to go ahead, we're going to add a block. And we're just going to give this block a name. Uh, gallery block. Hit update. And there we go, now we have our block. And don't worry about that, that's just uh, autofill that's not working. So now, uh, I didn't do this before because I wanted to show you. We go to Edit Gallery Display Fields, go to Basic. We're going to actually exclude our image and that's going to be pulled in from the block now. So we don't want it in the teaser. We don't want it in, and we'll just choose Hidden as well. Don't have to choose Hidden because we're excluding it, but that's okay. So just hit Save. Now we're going to go and enable our block. So you go to Site Building Blocks List. And don't worry about that. That's just from another module. Uh, those errors, I mean. So we're gonna go, so we have our gallery block. We're gonna put it in content. I'm using uh, Garland, you'll see here. So it's in the content. We're gonna save that. Okay, now that it's saved, we're gonna uh, configure it because we wanna make sure it only shows up gallery pages. Uh, and the way that we do that is we have Path Auto installed and we know that every single gallery is gonna be given the URL gallery slash something. So we're gonna choose show only on the listed pages. It's going to be gallery slash stars the wildcard. So anything after gallery slash any title doesn't matter. This is going to apply to that. Uh, sometimes I do it all the time. Uh, you'll sometimes forget to put on show only on the listed pages and you'll go to your page and it won't be there. It's because you have it on every other page. So just make sure to hit that medium uh, radio button. And if you don't do that, you're way better than I am. So now that we have the block enabled, we have it installed, we've hidden images on the node. We should be able to go back to our gallery and see uh, see our slideshow. But I'll give you a little forewarning. We're not going to be able to, and I know that because Devel is going to interfere with it. So we can see one image, and if we scroll down, you'll see you don't have thumbs. So before you write in the forums and say this doesn't work, it's because Devel, if you're using Devel, you want to make sure it's disabled. So I purposely left that enabled. I'm going to go ahead, disable Devel and other development modules. Now when you reload the screen, you'll see we have thumbs down at the bottom. We have some descriptions here. Remember we added in uh, these as an added field. Uh, they're getting pulled in with absolute positioning. You could uh, kind of overlay them on, on the image if you wanted to to get a neat little effect. Uh, and you'll do that with CSS, but that's it. That's the tutorial. Uh, I hope it helps. Please leave me a comment, shoot me an email, sign up for the newsletter. Let me know these, these are helping. I do read every comment, so I appreciate uh, all the feedback and hopefully we'll see you soon with another mini tutorial. I think we probably went over around eight or nine minutes, but uh, hopefully we'll shoot that down to four or five next time. Take care.